Hey everybody, and in today's video we're going to be going over Rocket Lab stock. Specifically, whether or not it's a good time to buy right now at these new lows that we've been having lately. As you can see, today there was a, almost a new low, got down to $3.78. Now, is this stock a buy? As you can see, the market cap right now is under $2 billion. Now, is Rocket Lab worth this much money? And straight off the bat, I'm going to tell you the answer is yes. In my opinion, Rocket Lab's valuation is going to increase dramatically in the coming years and decades ahead of us. And that's going to be led by their aggressive innovation that they've been making over the past few years and in the future ahead of us. Of course, Rocket Lab's Electron Rocket has given them great business in the past, but it's going to continue delivering incredible growth for them in the coming years ahead. And that's mostly driven by reusability. So reusability is going to end up giving Rocket Lab higher margins on their Electron launches. Now, as a lot of you probably already know, Rocket Lab is also developing their Neutron Rocket. And this is going to provide even more cost savings, um, even on the reusability front in comparison to Electron. And that's means mostly because of the way Neutron lands compared to Electron. For Electron, Rocket Lab is going to have to catch the booster mid-air with a helicopter and then bring that booster back to land for them to go ahead and turn it around for its next flight. With Neutron though, Rocket Lab plans to propulsively land it back at the launch site, similar to how SpaceX does on some of their launches. And this simplifies some of the steps in the process that they have to deal with with Electron. Now, beyond just launching satellites to orbit for customers, Rocket Lab is also getting into the space systems business, which is making them much more vertically integrated than before. And this is mostly led by their Photon spacecraft. Photon provides customers with the full in-space flight operations package, making it much cheaper for them to go ahead and put their satellite in orbit and be able to do so in a much quicker amount of time as well. And beyond Photon, there's so many new parts of their space systems business that have mostly been led by all of these new acquisitions that Rocket Lab has made over the past few years, including star trackers and reaction wheels, radios, space software, separation systems, and solar solutions. And all of this is making Rocket Lab a very vertically integrated company. And with all of the cost savings that Rocket Lab is going to be seeing from Electron Reusability, and then later down the line, Neutron, which, by the way, is going to unlock a completely new market for Rocket Lab to get into. All of these reasons are why I believe Rocket Lab stock is very undervalued today in comparison to where I think it's probably going to end up being in the coming years and decades ahead of us. Now, all of this, of course, is going to come down to whether or not Rocket Lab is going to be able to pull this off. And I think they will be able to. Looking at their balance sheet, we can see that they have over $540 million of cash and over $700 million of current assets. And combined with all of their long-term assets, Rocket Lab has over a billion dollars of total assets at the moment. And taking those assets and comparing it to their liabilities, we can see that Rocket Lab has a very strong balance sheet at the moment, and I certainly don't think this company is going to be going bankrupt within the next few quarters here. And Rocket Lab continues to grow their revenues at a very rapid pace, although I would like to note that this jump from 2021 to 2022 was mostly led by a lot of these acquisitions they've made, as they didn't own those companies back in 2021, whereas they did in 2022. So don't expect this level of growth going forward, but there is still going to be a lot of growth ahead for Rocket Lab, mostly driven by electron reusability, their space systems business, and then Neutron later down the line. And that's why I think that Rocket Lab stock is very undervalued at the price that it's at today. I really feel that there's a lot of upside here with Rocket Lab stock at these prices that it's at right now, and I don't think there's a lot of risk involved because of these extremely low prices. I have been buying into Rocket Lab stock recently, starting a couple weeks back after making my overview video on Rocket Lab, where I go over all of these aspects of their business, including Electron, Neutron, Photon, and then all of these subcategories under their space systems business. So go check that video out next, and I'll see all of you guys in the next video.